Hello Squiddies, how are you doing? Welcome back to our YouTube channel to another video, another article and today we'll be talking about Queen Elizabeth and Princess Lilibet. So apparently um, there's a new book that has come out with claims that Queen Elizabeth was angry um, because Harry and Meghan named their daughter after her. And all I can think is why would a great grandmother be angry over a great granddaughter being named after her? Because from my point of view, all I see is a grandson that adored his grandmother so much that he wanted his daughter to carry that name, you know, and hopefully carry some of that love that the grandmother had, you know. All I can see is a grandson honoring his grandmother. I honestly, from my point of view, don't see any reason why Queen Elizabeth would be angry. Protocol followed or not, I don't see a reason why a family member would be angry because another family member was named after her. But anyway, that's just my opinion. Um, let's dive deeper into this story and we'll be reading an article titled Queen Elizabeth II reportedly furious over Harry and Meghan naming debacle. Um, a new book claims the monarch was angered by claims that the successes asked her to name their daughter Lilibet. Let's dive deeper. Let's dive deeper. Shakespeare famously asked, what's in a name? A phrase so famous, it's practically a cliche. But to his fellow Britons, it's apparently still a worthy question as the years-long controversy over how Prince Harry and Meghan Markle named their daughter continues to prove. Though Lilibet Diana Mountbatten Windsor was born in 2021, Arguments over her name continue, specifically if Queen Elizabeth II gave her blessings to the choice. A girl born in 2021 and the controversy over her name is still on till 2024. Leave it to the royals to, to create a controversy out of nowhere just to cause drama in Harry's and Meghan's life. Um, when Harry and Meghan announced the birth of Lilibet, nicknamed Lily, on June 4th, 2021, they told the world that she was named after her great-grandmother, Her Majesty the Queen, whose family nickname is Lilibet. Her middle name, Diana, was chosen to honor her beloved late-grandmother, the Princess of Wales. By then, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex had broken with the royal family, as you might recall. The couple first announced that Meghan was pregnant with a girl during their bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey earlier that year. Despite that rift, Harry reached out to the monarch to request her permission to name the child after her. It was reported at the time. Did you just hear that part? Harry reached out to his grandmother because apparently it's protocol for um for you to ask you know for permission to name a child after a living royal. So and Harry, you know, from his side, he said that he reached out to his grandmother. And for all I care. That's all that matters. All that matters is that Harry said that he reached out. Her Royal Highness agreed and gave her blessings. Royal sources said, though even then the name raised questions. Harry and Meghan could have paid the Queen a far more dignified tribute by calling their daughter her great-grandmother's proper name, Elizabeth. The Queen's biographer, Sally Bedell Smith, said then. And I honestly disagree because um, we all know that Lilibet was a nickname for Queen Elizabeth, you know? And the people that called her that name, Lilibet, are the people that adored her. 
which means that this name came with love. Therefore, I don't see any problem, you know, any problem in Harry and Meghan giving their daughter a name, you know, that carries so much love. Because I believe they wanted Lily Bet when she grows up, they wanted her to have, you know, such people in her life, you know, they wanted her to have the same kind of love that Queen Elizabeth had in her life. And that's not a crime, ladies and gentlemen. That's not a crime. You know, I believe that whatever Harry and Meghan did, they did it from the core of their hearts. Okay? Um, they would have been even better calling... They would have been even better off calling the baby Diana Elizabeth. Oh my God, ladies and gentlemen. Compare Diana Elizabeth and Lilibet Diana. Which one sounds better? Which name would you give your child? Okay? Because sometimes I think these experts, these biographers, these commentators, they just give opinions for the sake of giving it. You know? And my question is, would you name your, your, your daughter Diana Elizabeth or Lilibet Diana? Which sounds better? You know? Which name sounds like it carries so much love in it? Um, nobody could possibly have objected to that. In fact, paying tribute to the baby's late grandmother the way um in fact paying tribute to the baby's late grandmother that way would have been widely applauded. I would expect the choice has not gone down well in royal circles. It's lucky Harry and Meghan have said um at the outset they will call their daughter Lily. So what I'm picking up so far is that um basically people didn't have basically the royals didn't have an issue with um Lilibet being named after um Queen Elizabeth. The issue they had is the name that was used. You know, the issue they had is the fact that Lilibet was used and not Elizabeth. Let's dive deeper and see why, you know, because <laughs> I can't figure out why, but let's dive deeper. However, luck is in the eye of the beholder. Days after the birth, Pali sources told BBC that neither Harry nor Meghan asked the Queen for permission to name their daughter as they did. The successes responded swiftly, saying via an attorney that the Duke spoke with his family in advance of the announcement. In fact, his grandmother was the first family member he called. During that conversation, he shared their hope of naming their daughter Lilibet in her honor. Had she not been supportive, they would not have used the name. Thank you. Had she not been supportive, they would not have used the name. So that means that Queen Elizabeth supported um, Lilibet being named Lilibet. Any claims otherwise were false and defamatory and should not be repeated. The attorney's letter read. But despite that legal threat, the argument has continued. Though the royal website was updated in 2023 to include the child's name, Princess Lilibet of Sussex, um, the big B exact, other Robert Hardman says that the staff inside the palace continue to chaffe at the blessing claims. And I'm like, if the royals agreed to even update Princess Lilibet's name, I don't see any issue. I don't see any issue. And again, I will repeat, if the queen was not supportive of the name, Harry and Meghan would not have named their daughter Lilibet. Continuing. In his new book, The Making of a King, King Charles III and the Modern Monarchy, Hardman writes, per Newsweek, that a staff member close to the late Queen recalled that Elizabeth II had been as angry as I'd ever seen her in 2021 after the successes announced that she had given them her blessings to call their baby daughter Lilibet, the Queen's childhood name. 
um, like so many tense conversations between family members, it all seems to come down to how things were phrased. If both sides agree that there was indeed a phone call between Harry and the Queen, one wonders in that call, did Harry ask permission or simply convey the information and wait for an objection? If so, perhaps that's where the confusion lies. According to Hardman, however, the confusion was cleared up within the family when the controversy first reached. When the successes tried to co-opt the palace into propping up their version of events, they were rebuffed. Once again, it was a case of recollection may vary. The late Queen's reaction to the Oprah Winfrey interview as far as Her Majesty was concerned. So, on the Queen becoming angry, and I have read somewhere that she was quoted saying that um, the paintings don't belong to her, um, the palace don't belong to her, the only thing that belonged to her was her nickname as a baby, which is Lilibet, and that now Harry and Meghan had taken that away from her. But ladies and gentlemen, Harry and Meghan did not take anything away from the Queen. They asked her, and the Queen was supportive you know so the issue is was she truly supportive you know that's the question and this is not on harry and meg or megan you know she was given the chance to say yes or no and she chose to say yes so if later on she became angry guys that's not on harry or megan that's on the queen for not being brave enough to speak up if she didn't want any other baby in the world to ever be called Lilibet, she could have said so. She could have said, you know what? I love you, dear grandson, but I don't want that name um, to be given to anyone else because I am the only person in the universe who can be called Lilibet. She had the opportunity, but she chose to become a coward. And afterwards, the royals do what they do best. They try to pin all the blame on Harry and Meghan. But guys, we we can see what this is, you know? We can see this very clearly. Harry and Meghan followed protocol, you know? They told the queen their wishes. And the queen said, I agree. You can name my great-granddaughter after me. If years later she became angry, that's on her. Because she was not able... She was not courageous enough to relay her wishes to Harry and Meghan. Anyway, guys, that's it from me to you. And until the next one, bye-bye.